I'm Jeff in the morning, welcoming in now Jackie Leonard, Dion Graber, and Keith Hansey from Northwoods Community Realty. And good morning, you three. Good morning. Good morning, Jeff. All right. You, you, you can't do that like in uh, unison and harmony? No. You no, didn't? We wanted to be separate. Okay. Maybe practice that for next time. <laughs> Now let's. Uh, we're going to talk about real estate a little bit here, but uh, Jackie, usually we like to lead off with you here because um, it's always interesting to find out how Northwoods Community Realty came into being and uh, why you have that name and uh, your philosophy in uh, dealing with real estate here in our Lincoln County area. Not only here, but uh, you're off. We always got to remember the new office in Lake Tomahawk too. Yeah, we got that new office up there that's doing really good. Um, our agents up there are really getting into the community and um, meeting some new people and have a have some new listings up there. Brenda, I think she had three new listings this week, um, so she's doing great up there. Um, and as far as Northwoods Community Realty and the name and how um, that came about, I was doing real estate for about seven years, decided to go out on my own, and wanted to be, give back to the Tomah community. So a portion of our um commissions that year went back um, into the Star Foundation and that is a treasure chest kind of like a United Way. The Star Foundation is Tomahawk's version of the United Way and the first year um, I did $10,000 so and then every year after we have done that same amount and we just give our check January 1st or um, actually December 31st because that's Usually when we did the polar, or the polar plunge, not called the polar plunge, but the star splash. Right. Um, and unfortunately, we didn't get to do it this year um, because of COVID. But um, we still did our check. And um, if anybody's interested, I'm still taking donations on the Star Foundation page. I have one client that he's not going to give me my check until I jump in the water. <laughs> So um, I'm I'm still working on that, trying to find a um, might have to have my husband cut a hole or something. So still working on that. Maybe Chad has a spare chainsaw over there by the Happy Snapper, and you can make it really official. Yeah, he always likes that. And if anybody, um, it's very good for you. It's awesome for your cardiovascular system. Um, if anybody wants to Google Wim Hof, you know, um, there's a whole tribe out there. They, you know, it's 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 usually people that are in um, European countries, but, you know, they do it on a regular basis. It's really good. Uh, more power to you and everybody else who ever does that. I'm going to sit and watch. <laughs> that's that's, uh, that's 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 my spot when it comes to that kind of thing. But anyway, so community is in the name. It's uh, part of the way you do business. It's all part of your philosophy, giving back to the community who's given so much to you. Yeah, that's, that's really... Um, you know, it was, was one of the driving forces for, for me to go out on my own. I just, I, I got really involved in the Star Foundation um, and even Main Street, Tomahawk Main Street, and um, just super passionate about Tomahawk and promoting Tomahawk. And um, that's really what feeds our business. If Tomahawk is not doing well in our community, you know, that affects the, the real estate values. And so that's always been um, kind of a, a benefit of, of doing our, our job is we're, we're promoting Tomahawk also. Now, Keith Hansey, uh, one of the uh, new, well, not so new anymore. You've been there now, uh, what, how many years is it now, Keith? I, I think this is my fifth year. Okay, five years already, and we know you from uh, your yeah. other life from uh, back in Wausau Homes, and so when you decided yeah. to get into real estate, why why Jackie and Northwoods Community Realty? What was attractive about that uh, business for you? Uh, uh, for me, I mean, I knew uh, Opie was here. Uh, he had been here for probably two years, three years, something like that before that. Um, and I knew Jackie from all like a, the deal with the chamber, some building, selling lots. Um, so, in, again, with the, the community, um, it was just a natural fit. So everything worked, worked great. Um, everything went well. I'm involved in the community a lot. So uh, it just actually worked out perfect. Yeah, you, we see your face in the summertime. Hopefully we'll see it more often here this next summer with uh, hopefully COVID will be in the rearview mirror uh, and we'll get back to seeing those Quahomet water ski shows in mass and uh, we usually see you in one of those boats. Yep, yep, that is correct. We're hoping to have another a regular season. Last year we could only do two shows a week. Yeah. Um, but, but we got through the season, which was good. So um, hopefully this spring is a lot better. 
And uh, Dion Graber, we were used to seeing her and talking to her on the phone uh, whenever he had some business uh, dealings uh, over at the school. And so, uh, Dion, now to you uh, in your new career, why Northwoods Community Realty for you? Well, actually, um, prior to starting here, I, occasionally I'd see Jackie at an establishment and we'd have brief conversations about real estate. And so she knew I had an interest. And um, back in 2017, out of the blue, I got a call from her asking if it's something I still had thought about. And I said, actually, yes. And she said, well, if you want to get your license, I would hire you. <laughs> so. I got my license and uh, didn't know the people here too well. I mean, I knew them somewhat, but it, it um, kind of just went out on a limb and and uh, got my license and came here, and we all seemed to fit in well. So um, that's kind of my story. It was and, reached and, out to me, and I went with it. I just grabbed it and went. So. And, th- and things have been going well ever since, right? They have. Good. They have. I, I, I've been going real well. The reason I want to get a little background here is because I know how uh, well you three are all part of this community for so many years and uh, why it's important you to give back to the community. I want to just make that clear to people that are looking for a uh, real estate uh, uh, brokerage to, um, you know, take care of their real estate needs, whatever those may be, buying, selling, uh, whatever. Um, if, if other folks are interested in this community as much as you are, it's just a natural fit. So uh, whether you're uh, coming to the Tomahawk community for the first time, if you're just going from one place to another, uh, Northwoods Community Realty here in Tomahawk, uh, yeah, roots right here in the community of Tomahawk. Uh, let's get into some uh, meat and potatoes here now that we've got the background stuff. Wi-Fi and Internet availability. Now, this is something that uh, uh, not only in this um, particular setting but in other settings, I've been talking about this on the radio for almost 30 years now. As uh, long as I've been in radio up here, as far as our internet availability and the hit and miss uh, availability of it, uh, we've been talking about this for a long time. Now, how does that availability relate to real estate sales here? And I'll let uh, Jackie, you want to handle this one? Yeah, I guess one thing I just wanted to let people know is because um, we have talked about this in the past, but um, our, I'm on our MLS board and um, we decided as an MLS board that we actually had to take off Wi-Fi as a search criteria. And um, so it's super important, and I know a lot of people are looking for that to be on the information sheet, and it used to be. But liability-wise, we, we had to take it off because there had been some issues with people, um, with different providers that only take on so many customers. And so they have a current customer with the seller, and we're assuming that the buyer could get the same service. And then when the buyer goes to set it up after close, they're like, oh, no, we're not taking any new clients on. And so they're unable to get the Internet they thought that they were able to get with, um, you know, the previous seller had. So, and there's some ways that they worked around it. You know, in this case, it was, you know, it was a huge deal to these people because they were working from home and, you know, so the seller had to continue their account, and now the buyer pays the seller monthly, which is not um, something that we, you know, we, you know, we want to happen for people. So right. I think it's just super important for people to know if you're searching for a home and high-speed internet is a must. Um, you know, there there are ways that um, kind of more of a checklist that as real estate agents we're trying to provide to those people that um, <clears throat> you know you should make a contingent in your offer you know, that you're able to call Frontier and get an account number, maybe even before closing. Um, You can always cancel it, but it's good to know that you you at least were able to get that account and and know that you're going to have, you know, the high-speed Internet that that you thought you were going to. I'll throw my next question out to any one of you that want to answer this. In this last year, this has to be one of the, the most important criteria for people that are relocating here, especially is Internet availability. Yeah, for sure. Uh, especially with like, take this last week where school, elementary school got shut down. So everybody has to be at home um, doing the internet. And we saw an influx of people moving up here that found out they could work from home. So that internet is a huge, huge deal. Uh, and, and to be honest, it's a big seller selling point on a house. If you can get high speed internet, uh, the kids can go to school from there, and you can work from home. Um, and then to call, and then the provider says, no, we're not taking any more new customers. Um, that, that could be devastating. So 
that's why we're putting the, the word out today um, to get a hold of these providers before you close, just to make sure, like Jackie said, get a, get a number, um, make sure that it is available. And, and we hate to see you go through the whole process and not be able to get it. Yeah, for sure. That, and so this is something that you are adding as real estate professionals. This is something you add to your checklist of all the things you go over with a client uh, before uh, you move forward as far as uh, finding the right fit for a home, right? Correct. Yeah. Yep. We're talking with uh, the folks from Northwoods Community Realty. Uh, Jackie, Dion, and Keith are here with us. Uh, next question here this morning is uh, about turning off the well and making sure the water isn't still running. Now, a lot of folks uh, may have some property for sale. And you folks have uh, been on the show before talking about uh, the fact that a lot of people usually pull their homes off the market in the fall because they don't want to deal with all the things that are going on in winter. But this year, especially given the market that we're in, you are encouraging people to leave those properties on the market because the uh, desire, the need, and the uh, demand is still there on the part of buyers. So what's the biggest thing to remember with uh, as far as wells go and uh, making sure that uh, folks don't uh, either come back or uh, prospective buyers come by and see uh, broken porcelain and uh, pipes and ice all over the place. So um, how do you want to address this situation? I always like to, to tell stories in real estate because I have a lot of them over the 16 years I've been doing it. Um, there's, there's always a story, you know, there's always something that happens and you learn from it. And so that you, you know, don't have it happen to you again. And the one thing I have to say with um, um, sellers that, and, and most people that are selling and that they're selling in the North, they already know this. Um, you know, when you leave, you shut your breaker off so that um, your pump is not going to run if something happens. Um, one of the elements that happens this time of year that, that we don't think about sometimes is that um, you have a property shut down, a cabin, and everything's drained, everything's winterized. Well, now you get an accepted offer and they have inspections. And now you have to unwinterize this and do your inspections because the inspector is going to want the water running and make, making sure that all the plumbing is correct. Um, you have to remember to have your home inspector, um, you know, know that this is shut down and you have to arrange for a plumber and the home inspector to be there on the same day because you have to get everything up and going for your inspection and then it has to be shut back down. Um, and rewinterize. Um, and that is our protocol here. Um, we could tell you a couple stories that didn't go well because we didn't follow that protocol. You know, we had one buyer that's, oh, no, just leave it up and going. And, you know, because I'm going to be coming up, you know, in two weeks after the closing, and I, I don't want to have to unwinterize it. Well, two weeks turned into a month because the closing got extended and um, the seller wasn't putting any LP in the tank and the LP ran out and, and we had frozen pipes. So uh -huh. um, there's always things in the winter time, this time of year, you kind of have to make sure you're thinking these things through and making sure everybody's on the same page. But that's when we had the protocol of, okay, you're going to unwinterize it and then you're going to rewinterize it the same day. And, you know, some, but that's the reason behind that. And, um, and we want to make sure that, you know, this time of year that you're doing a walkthrough and you're um, making sure you're checking the property out before closing, too, um, because sometimes, you know, the property is vacant, you have the pump turned off, and you have the heat turned down. Well, the day of closing, you go there, you turn the breaker on, and here the heat was turned down too much, and then you had a, a, a pipe that froze in a back corner of the house, and you got water spraying all over the day of closing. So these are all things that are, you know, can happen in, the, in this time of year. And, um, you know, you try to just um, get ahead of these things as a listing agent and making sure that people aren't turning their heat down too far when they're leaving it vacant or, you know, just winterize it. You know, pay $200 for a plumber to come in there and just drain everything out and put antifreeze and then and then you know that it's not going to, you're not going to have any issues. I know from experience, uh, from a story I could tell you my own about frozen pumps at a property I own in Eagle River, that uh, that 200 bucks up front is way cheaper than having all that plumbing and all the fixtures replaced. 
Mm-hmm. For sure. Way Absolutely. cheaper. Um, what about, yeah. t- if, now, Dion, I want to bring you on the conversation a little bit here. So if you have a client that has their property listed yet in the wintertime, do you have a checklist of things that you share with that client to make sure that they're taking care of everything? Because it's not your responsibility. It's still the seller's responsibility to make sure these things are all done. So how do you prompt your clients to make sure that uh, their property is safe while they're not here? Well, yeah, we do have a checklist and, you know, we just, go through everything whether it's you know the well um the lp tank um you know plowing renters you know well plowing if they are going to be renting it to make sure that they have the renters get renters insurance um you know if they have if their well is turned off and they're doing all these things they should be okay but it's always a good idea to maybe have a neighbor check on it once in a while or you know, we also have these lights. Now, I personally haven't used them yet, but I know Jackie has. That um, if, how did, if the, yeah, so, so it's a you you set up a lamp with a typically a, a colored bulb. So um, if you have a neighbor that's, you know, they they're nice enough to check on your property, you make it a little easier for them. That um, if it gets beyond a certain degree, a light bulb goes on and it's colored. So they're like, oh, the red light bulb is on, you know, something's going wrong and I should, you know, actually go in the home instead of, you know, if they're driving by. Um, I, I drove by my neighbors, you know, I wish they would have had that because um, I didn't know something was wrong until I drove by and they had frost on their windows. Well, by the time you have frost on the windows, it's, yeah. it's too late. So, um, so it does make it a little easier. We do have those available here. You know, if we list a property and it's something that, um, you know, I had one, you know, they were just, they're, they're moving out of town, right? So the packed up leave, you know, they got their heat on 65, you know, they probably have a 20 year old furnace, you know, you just don't want something like that to happen. And, and it's a city home, you know, then you have city water and sewer, you can't shut off that breaker, it's pressurized all the time. And so, um, you know, these type of systems are, are great. And especially in the city, you know, people are driving by all the time, um, or your neighbors right across the street. They definitely can see a light bulb go off. Yeah, these are things that a lot of folks just don't think of, and so it's good that we have you folks to think about this at Northwoods Community Realty. Now, what about uh, Dion? Kind of alluded to renters insurance. Are you finding that one? I guess one other way to make sure that the property is okay while you're not here in the winter time, while you're waiting for a buyer to come along, is to rent the place out to somebody. Uh, and they can live there and make sure everything is okay while you're waiting for a buyer. Is is that becoming more common these days? Yeah, it it, it it's kind of a unique situation. It, it happens if you have a person renting the home before they purchase it. Early occupied. Early occupied. Okay. Because of different situations, whatnot. Um, just to make sure. Let's say they're renting it for three weeks to four weeks before closing date um, for whatever reason. They're waiting on another house to close for that. But just so they have insurance to ensure that everything is covered while they're there so it doesn't turn into a bad situation. Good idea. And again, it's better to be uh, prepared ahead of time than have to deal with catastrophes afterwards. Uh, That's for sure. Uh, Jackie, Keith, and Dion from Northwoods Community Realty here as we start to close out our conversation here this finally Friday morning. Going to give all three of you uh, some last words here before we have to go. Uh, Keith, any what would you like to leave our listeners with this morning as far as anything going on there at uh, the agency or uh, just real estate in general? Um, oh, uh, definitely, I guess one thing I'd like to bring up is if you are thinking about selling or selling on your own, Perhaps give us a call. We'll come do a market analysis because we have many, many examples of recent sales that we've done where they've gotten way more than what they were thinking. So give us the opportunity to do a market analysis, show you what what we can do and sell, and then uh, try and get you the most amount of money for your property. Okay, that's a good one. Uh, Dion? Okay, so the one thing that's sticking in my mind right now is um, this whole making sure that your water's turned off and and um, then having the walkthrough and and I, I just had a situation happen where the walkthrough, they, they chose not to do a walkthrough 
And then when they did turn their water on, they had a leak. So the whole keeping the wells shut off and then making sure the day of closing that before, you know, you actually go to closing that you, you test and make sure that these things aren't leaking. So just the whole safety with winterizing and making sure things aren't leaking prior to close. Sure. Good advice. And uh, Jackie Leonard, how do you want to leave us this morning? Yeah, I just, you know, and to piggyback on what Keith said is, um, you know, even if you were thinking, oh, it's a hot market, you know, I can uh, do a for sale by owner, um, you just don't know what you don't know in this market. You know, even I just, you know, did a market analysis and, and we converse here in, in the office and, you know, it's like all, you almost just need to add 10 percent of what you think. Um, I mean, that's how crazy this stuff is going. It's just. It just really is amazing. You know, I, you, I had two listings last week, and, you know, they didn't even, both of them were gone. One was gone, not even in a, before I got it on the MLS, and then the other one was four days, even in a high dollar. And it's multiple offers and escalation. If people don't, if you want to look up escalation clauses, you know, um, I just got an offer yesterday. It's like, okay, the buyer's willing to pay X. And then for three days, they're willing to up their offer to maybe multiple thousands more if you got a higher offer. You know, so they're really, there's all kinds of clauses and, and you know, things that you can do to get the most for your property. And it's going to pay, it's gonna pay uh, for itself in the real estate commissions. Um, because how can somebody that has never sold real estate know all of these forms and and the things that you can do you know to get to get the most for your property it's impossible for them to do that and then not to mention you know the inspections and the financing and everything you know um i had somebody take an offer you know that was um you know they didn't know any better well the house was not going to qualify for the type of loan that they were going to get and we know that ahead of time you know especially in this market, you don't want to be pulled off for two months and then find out your buyer can't even buy the home because you didn't know what type of lending they were getting. So that's just super, super important in this market. So many things to remember, so many checks uh, to mark off on those uh, lists when it comes to buying or selling real estate, and that's why it's good that uh, we leave all that stuff up to the professionals. So, Jackie, how can people get what? I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I just want to uh, do a shout out to Keith Hansey. He took his broker's uh, test this week and passed with flying colors. So we have a new broker in the office. Um, so congratulations to him. And then we also have a new agent, Sammy White. She took her test this week. And so she's going to be starting with us um, shortly. So why is Opie so shy to talk on the radio? <laughs> Um, <laughs> well, it's Friday too, so um, you know he um, He's got other things on his agenda. You know, Obi, uh. Obi does an amazing job at um, getting a lot done in, in the time that he works. You know, we we could sit in the office all day and he gets everything done in, in half the time. So um, kudos to him for he's just very organized and and very efficient. And uh, what about uh, as far as getting a hold of all of you at Northwoods Community Realty? What are some of the uh, contact numbers and ways we can do that? Yeah, definitely check us out on Facebook. We've been, um, you know, posting a lot of our stuff on on Facebook um, as soon as we get it. And then also they can always call the office here or find us on our website. All of our new listings are on there. Um, it has a great map search. You can just click a button. You can set yourself up on a search on our website, which is nice. Um, so it's 715-453-2673 or northwoodscommunityrealty.com. Always a pleasure to talk to all three of you. I hope you have a really good weekend, and um, we'll talk to you again soon down the road. Thanks uh, for all this information this morning, too. All right. Go Pack Go. Go Pack, absolutely. Thank you very much. Jackie Leonard, Keith Hansey, and Dion Graber from Northwoods Community Realty right here on North 4th and Mohawk Drive here in Tomahawk. Don't forget, they have an office in Lake Tomahawk, too. I'll be back to shut down.